Welcome to the IBM Monitoring Academy and thank you for watching this video. My name is Caterina Berri and I am a software support engineer at IBM. After watching this video, you will be able to install the IBM Performance Management Hybrid Gateway, configure the communications between the different components of this architecture and view the data from your hybrid environment into a consolidated view in the Performance Management Console. I hope you find this video useful. Be sure to check the thumbs up if you do. For this demo, I've set up a test environment with two servers, a Linux server where IPM813 is installed. And you see here that I have just checked that all the services have been correctly started. And another Linux server where ITM 63 Fixpack 5 is installed. The TAPS has been configured so that the dashboard data provider is enabled. You will see later on in this uh, video that this is uh, an important requirement to have the communication properly set up. The hybrid gateway can be installed on a server that has a network connection with both IBM Tivoli monitoring and IBM Performance Management. In my environment, I will install it in the server where ITM is installed. And in any case, the hybrid gateway cannot be installed on the same system where the Performance Management server is running. Just a side note on the port requirements. By default, the hybrid gateway will use port 9998 for communications. The first step to proceed with the installation is to configure the hybrid gateway images with the connections information specific for your environment. And this can be done in two steps. The first step is to make the configuration packages. And here you are prompted to set up some information like host name where the server is supposed to be installed then you can accept the default value if you like so that the configuration packages will be stored in that directory and then you can choose if you want communications set up as http or https by default i'm accepting http Okay, you see here that the configuration packages have been properly set up. Second step is to proceed configuring the agent images. So the command is this one, you can execute it. Now you have to provide the same directory where the configuration packages were stored, then where you downloaded the bundles. In my case, this is the images directory. And you see here that the command will process the default packages and will create the customized one in the depot directory. You see here in my environment, I have copied different tar files in the images directory. So actually the command is processing all the valid images file and producing the tailored images according to your environment. You see here that the command completely successfully. So all the agent images are pre-configured and available in the op PT IBM CCM depot directory. Now I'm moving to the server where ITM 63 is installed and I'm creating a repository where the hybrid gateway installation will be stored. So I'm going to get the images from the depot.
so OPT, IBM, CCM, Depot. And then I'm getting the IPM hybrid gateway TAR file. Okay, FTP completely. So now I'm able to untar the, the file. And you see here that a new directory has been created. This is where I have to go to run my install command. Now I have a prerequisite checker, so prerequisite scan is ongoing. Now you are prompted to access the license agree agreement, so accepting it and the installation will prepare all needed. So you see installation completed in a few seconds and now the hybrid gateway is started by default. In my demo, I am accepting all the defaults that are provided by the install uh, program. There are some customization you can do, like using a proxy for communications. I'm not doing this, and you can refer to the product documentation to get details on it. I'm also using the default uh, ports and, and etc. So you see here, you are also suggested to run the command hybrid gateway status to make sure that the hybrid gateway is running. So everything is done for the installation. Once the installation successfully completed, you are able to proceed with the configuration steps required. As I said at the beginning of the demo, the TAPS has to be configured with the dashboard data provider enabled, and this can be easily checked by looking at the TAPS log file and looking for the KD8 settings. So you see here that KD8 ITM REST service is enabled. So now you're ready to proceed with creating a managed system group for the hybrid gateway. This can be done using CLI or the tab, and I'm showing you here how to proceed with the tab. So you access to the object group editor, you select the managed system. In this environment, I'm using Linux OS agent, and I'm creating a new group. The name, it's important you keep the name in your mind because this will be used also when configuring APM. So hybrid gateway Linux OS. And now you can add the available members you like to integrate in your APM infrastructure. Okay, this is all required on ITM. You can move to the performance management side and access to the console. So I'm logging in with APM admin. So I'm going to the system configuration and an advanced configurations. And here you can locate hybrid gateway section. So you can put here the hybrid, the, the name you use it for the managed system group, Linux OS. Then the portal server host name. So still using defaults. 
I'm putting my passwords. I'm not using any host name and I'm passing through HTTP. So I'm able to save my configuration. And that's all. So now I'm able to move into the application dashboard and I'm going to browse components then I'm moving to Linux OS agent and you'll see that after a while the new Linux server will appear so you see here that after a few seconds the Linux OS agents for the ITM 6.3 environment appeared and you can see here the different icon showing you this is an ITM 6 resource. So again, the same agent appears both in your tab, ITM 6 tab, and both in your application performance management console. Again, thank you for watching this video. If you find this information useful, make sure you set up the thumbs up for it. Thanks a lot.